How's it going everybody? Is it time to adjust the clutch cable on your Milwaukee 8 Softail? Let's do it. My name is Ron, and on this channel I tackle projects of all sizes related to the bikes I ride, and also share information with you about those projects. In this video, we're going to adjust the upper clutch cable on the Milwaukee 8 Softail. It's a super simple process, only takes a couple of minutes to do, you'll be done with it in no time. And in the video that I post after this one, I'll cover adjusting the clutch down at the hub and show you all the steps involved in that. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be alerted whenever I post new videos. When Harley Davidson released the Milwaukee 8 Softail, they also included a new two-piece clutch cable that makes adjustments and cable swaps super simple. It's really easy to work with. So if you have more free play than Harley Davidson recommends, and I'll show you how to measure that a little bit later in this video, then it's really easy to make an adjustment with this new clutch cable and the adjustment mechanism that Harley Davidson has built into it. So let's take a look at that process. So you start by following the cable down from the clutch lever to where there's a clip on the frame, little metal clip, and you just pop that clip off the frame and then that'll give you a little bit of room to work with your clutch cable. Then there's a little plastic tube that covers the actual adjustment mechanism. So I'm gonna slide that plastic tube up out of the way on the clutch cable. And then you'll see a yellow mechanism with a little red button at the top of that mechanism. And then above that, you'll see the spring that adjusts the tension on your clutch cable. And to begin the process, all you need to do is release that little red plastic clip. And you can do it with a flat bladed screwdriver, or I found that I can usually just do it with my fingers. But the idea is you want to push the red, the small ends of that red clip inward and then push it away from the cable and it should sort of snap out a little bit and it sticks out maybe 3 16 of an inch once it's disengaged. And also if you find that that little plastic button comes all the way out, it's okay, no big deal. You just can put it back in, it won't hurt anything. As soon as you release the red button and the spring tension presses against that housing, you just snap the red button back into place and that locks it in at that adjustment point. And then you just wanna go up to your lever and check your free play. And the way you wanna check that is you grab the housing with one hand and pull outward away from the lever. And then with your other hand, you can just press against that lever slightly. And as you press that lever, it'll pull the housing towards the perch. And so you can move that left and right and then see how much free play you have between the end of the cable ferrule and your perch and Harley Davidson recommends 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch on that. So just check your free play. If it's within that range of 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch, then you're good to go. So once you confirm that you have the right amount of free play on your lever, all you have to do is slide that plastic cover back down the cable over the adjustment mechanism. Make sure that the rubber caps on that little cover don't get pinched or crimped or anything like that. Then snap that metal clip back around the frame and around the clutch cable and you're done. So as you can see, it's a really simple process. Once you're used to it, you can knock it out in just literally a minute or two at the most. Really easy to make adjustments. Drop in a comment and let me know if you've had to work with this new style clutch cable on your Milwaukee 8. Did you run into any problems or did it work well for you? And have you swapped out one of the cables for a different length cable and how did that process go? I'd love to get that input and I'm sure the rest of the community would as well. If you found this video useful or beneficial, please hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be alerted whenever I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the ride. I'll see you next time.